Nations does not allow members to speak from both sides of the mouth, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I want to give you an example of Honorable Ndwale. Today, to come and say he's fighting for cost of fuel to be brought down, while the same Honorable Ndwale was lobbying for increase of VAT, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Members should learn to live with their sins, Mr. Speaker. The same Honorable Ndwale, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, again, another member who has a habit of talking from his two sides of the mouth is none other than the former chair of budget. Yes. And that is Kimani Chungu and is running away, Mr. Speaker. Yes. Only last week, Mr. Speaker, on the matter of security, Honorable Kimani Ichungwa said money for security should be diverted to go and buy fertilizer, Mr. Speaker. Yes. I reminded him, Mr. Speaker, members who come from Eastern Province and Central don't understand living in areas where there's insecurity, Mr. Speaker. And today he's here busy talking about insecurity, Mr. Speaker. The problem we have now is a former budget chair Yes. Cutting money to go to Minister of Interior. Yes. Policemen are struggling, Mr. Speaker, in hardship. No hammered vehicles, no protective gear, Mr. Speaker. And he comes here to lecture us about insecurity, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, my appeal to the chair is don't allow those two members who have caused these problems when they used to be psychophants of the system. Now that, now that they have seen the lights, Mr. Speaker, they should not be given all that airtime because they are already a nuisance in this house, Mr. Speaker. You know, you know, Honorable Kelonzo, you know the danger of uh, mentioning a member is that now the member will uh, want also to, to respond. Mr. Speaker, the problem with Honorable uh, Charles Kelonzo, I served with him in the 10th Parliament, is that uh, some people want to live in the history. I was a leader of majority. I don't deny that. Now I'm a ranking member and member for Garissa Township. So if you expect me to live in the history of the leader of majority, I'm the speaker. If it is about speaking, if it's about speaking from both sides of your mouth on matter security, this same Charles Kilonzo has a history. His father was a commissioner of police when when Joseph when Ouko died. When Ouko died. When Robert Ogo was killed, he is he he is he is he is he's being haunted. He's been haunted by insecurity. Shame on you. This is what what are you talking about? His father was a culprit. His father was was part of that. So if it is about speaking from both sides of the mouth, you your father and your family need to tell us answers. Tell answers. How Ogo died, who was involved, and everything. Shame on you. Now, 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 honor members, honor members, honor members, no, no, honor members, honor members, uh, you see, I know these are exciting times, and uh, if we are not careful, members could uh, find, uh, but, but, no, but that's when the, 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 the leader of majority has said, has given you. What?